you're trying to grow a soul line business, it's time to put your blinders on and unsubscribe from all the major influencers online and all of the other people doing what it is you want to be doing. you're trying to grow a soul line business, it's time to put your blinders on and unsubscribe from all the major influencers online and all of the other people doing what it is you want to be doing. Put your blinders on and focus on going within so that you can create an aligned offer from an aligned place. So your soul already knows what it wants to create and what wants to come through you. But if you are constantly comparing yourself online to what someone else is doing, or you're looking at somebody else's account and you're getting discouraged because maybe they're further ahead than you, so it looks like they're more successful, but yet you're using that as a measuring stick for your own worthiness, and then that trips you up and you imposter syndrome sets in and procrastination sets in and why am I even doing this sets in and she's already doing it so why should I bother sets in and all of these other things. So the piece of advice I wanted to impart with you today is if you're at the point where you're trying to create a spiritual business, a soul aligned business and or a soul aligned offer, I would immediately unfollow every influencer in the industry and every person doing what it is you want to be doing so that you can truly create from a soul aligned place. Because if you are in, in your mental body conceptually trying to figure out what to do based on what someone else is doing or even taking other people's advice, whether that be your friends, your family, or people in your mastermind and you're taking other people's advice to try to figure out what the best strategy is for you or how to create your offer, then that is not coming from a soul aligned place because you can't figure it out. You are in your mind if you're trying to figure it out. You are not connected to your soul and you will not be creating from an authentic place if you're in your mental body trying to figure it out. And you will not create offers from an aligned place if you are trying to figure it out. You have to allow your offer to come to you. You have to allow your inspired ideas to come to you. You have to allow the spark of creation in order to create from an aligned place. And you can't do that if you are stuck in uh, your mind going back and forth on what makes sense, what doesn't make sense, what's working for this person, what's not working, you know, all of the logical reasons that can come up of why something would make sense to do it a certain way and all of that. Or you have to unsubscribe, you have to unfollow, you have to put your blinders on and you have to stay in your own lane and you have to go within so that you can create from an authentic soul aligned place. And only when you do that, will you have a soul aligned business that feels like PCs and flow and a soul aligned program that is irresistible to your soulmate clients. If you create from the mental body, from on the conceptual level, based on what you're trying to figure out, you are not creating from a soul aligned place. And this is a big thing that trips up a lot of spiritual entrepreneurs that are new starting out. And this was a big thing for me as well, which is why I wanted to share this video because there's so many people's opinions out there on what you should be doing. And this video, for example, is another one of them. And so only if my information resonates with you, should you be listening to me or should you be following me? Because if my content doesn't, uh, motivate or inspire you to go within and to create from a soul aligned place uh, and doesn't resonate with you at a core level, then you shouldn't be following me either. And even in my coaching calls, I say this to my clients, you know, because they're paying me for advice, right? They're paying me to critique their work. They're paying me to help guide them. And I'm constantly asking them, does this resonate? How does this feel? Because even what I say, I'm always saying, does this resonate? Only if it resonates, only if it resonates, only if it resonates. Because if it doesn't resonate, it doesn't matter. Let me repeat this. If it doesn't resonate, it doesn't matter because it is not your path. It is not your program. It is not your business model. It has to resonate. 
I say this on my strategy sessions. I say this with my clients. I say this all the time. I'm not here to help you build a soul aligned business according to my according to me, I'm here to help you build a soul aligned business according to your soul. And that requires that you check in with yourself. The other piece of advice I would say is to take other people's opinions with a grain of salt and stop seeking them out. Because everybody's opinion is based off of their own situation and their own experience and it has absolutely nothing to do with what's in alignment for you. Now, if you ask the universe for guidance, right? And something clicks, you overhear someone say something to you and it resonates, then that was for you. But if it doesn't resonate, it's not for you. And so seeking out other people's opinions and then conceptually weighing the pros and cons of them should be a big red flag for you. That means you're in your mental body and you're conceptually trying to figure something out. And that means you're not acting from alignment, from soul alignment, because your soul already knows and it's gonna, and, and your soul already resonates with your next step uh, or your program or your offer or whatever it is that you're trying to create. And so it's always about alignment first and then moving when you're moved, acting when you're moved, right? Taking action from that place, creating from that place. It's not something that can be conceptually figured out and so that's my message and my takeaway for you today. So if this resonates with you and only if it resonates with you, I would challenge you today to go hit the unfollow button and go unsubscribe from all of the people that you've been comparing yourself to, all of the people that have bright ideas about what it is that you wanna do, all of the influencers that are trying to get you to do something a certain way because it worked for them, all of that. And only if it resonates with you really at your core, then you can follow them, right? Only if it really resonates. But I would almost challenge you to just unsubscribe from when you're in the creation mode of something. So this is specifically for you if you're creating an offer or a program that you specifically unsubscribe from everybody, right? Like I I, I recommended this today in, in, um, in my program to unsubscribe and and to allow yourself the creative freedom, give yourself permission to allow this divine spark of creation to bubble up from within you so that it can bubble up to the surface. This is what you're doing when you're creating something, right? Your creation, creation, you are a creator. You are part of the creator. You have to connect with that part of you in order to create from an aligned place.